Hey guys, Peter from FS Bushcraft. So, today I turned on, I got book three. Now, book three is one to turn on bringing out. Um, Central Oregon Survival Network had uh, mentioned uh, this book. And uh, lo and behold, I turned around and had, believe, the same one he was talking about in my collection. So, I figured I'd turn around and bring it as the third book in the series. And it is the Survival Handbook, The Essential Skills for Outdoor Adventure. Now, this is the second edition book. Um, this one was turned on and produced in uh, 2012. And I believe the original was, um, as uh, Central Oregon had turned on and mentioned, is uh, 2009. Um, so you can see right here, where are we? We got glare there. But uh, it's the second American edition, 2012. Um, and it is a gr great 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 book um, this one I, I like a lot um, especially uh, like I say Cody turns on and loves this book just because of the fact it's gotten great detail of um, pictures uh, more than any of the other books do but the cool thing with it too is that uh, let's see here if I can find you a spot and this one it, it's got uh, what to do um, now mind you, this is on extreme survival in the jungle. It just not to be the page that we open up to. But uh, every section in the book has a spot when you come to and it says what to do. And it'll ask you certain questions. And then as you go down, it'll give you, uh, you either answer no or yes. And then it basically would, would give you what, what, you know, what your outcome is or what to do in that scenario. Um, but like I say, it covers a lot of different things into it. Definitely a great book for that, uh, you know, young person or new person for that matter, getting into, uh, into, into, into bushcraft and into survival. Um, you know, some of the things like just here making spark with flames, I love because, uh, you know, it, it shows you different ways of turning on a starting fire, as many of us have turned on and done in videos. And um, it breaks down into what the gear is, uh, what to do. And then, uh, you know, comments about everything. So like your flint and steel, your, your fire steels, um, one-handed strikers, potassium uh, uh, protagonist. I can never say that right. Using a battery and uh, 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 a bit of uh, steel wool, things like that. Um, using a beverage can. Um, you know, it's just, it covers a whole lot of different things dealing with bushcraft. But at the same time, amazing for survival. And uh, it starts out the same way. Um, you know, chapter one is before you go. And it breaks down all different um, things and actually breaks down, which which is really knowledgeable, uh, breaks down into the different environments. So be it a, a temperate environment, tropical environment, mountain, desert, cold, and even marine. Uh, so it covers on the water and stuff, which is really nice. And then uh, chapter two is on the trail. Uh, three is your uh, camp craft. Chapter four gets into to talking about shelters. Five is your water and food. Six in an emergency. Seven is your first aid. And then of course your appendix. Now in the appendix it, it's got um, done really well which is really neat. It has a whole section Which is great for reference, and you know things like uh, wild food. Now, as anything else, as a lot of us would turn around, and those that are experienced would turn around and say, anybody that might be new into the bushcraft or into survival um, and not sure about wild edibles, the one thing I want to make clear, and I always turn around and say, definitely don't take, um, you know, what you read like this as being, you know, the end all be all that you could go out and turn around and eat wild edibles. Um, you know, definitely always turn around and check with somebody that knows and, uh, you know, and show you hands on uh, those wild edibles that are out there, um, you know, that you may be unsure of. And the reason being is that there's a lot of wild edibles that we have, um, especially in my neck of the woods, as well as I know in any neck of the woods, that, um, you know, it could be something that you could turn around and eat and uh, there'll be a plant very similar to it that uh, is very poisonous. Um, so if you don't know the difference, uh, you know, you can get yourself into a world of trouble. 
So that's just one thing, you know, definitely guys, if you're reading about wild edibles in a book, always make sure that you turn around and uh, talk to somebody beforehand that uh, that knows, you know, wild edibles. Um, and, uh, you know, find out from them exactly the difference between them. Books are great for reference, um, but uh, that's the one thing I stress on is when it comes to, to wild edibles, um, books are not the greatest thing in the world to use to learn how to do wild edibles. And then from there it gets into, you know, amphibians and reptiles and different fish and um, natural dangers, uh, poisonous plants. And then of course it gives you a whole bunch of uh, resources of different things that you can turn around and check check out and uh, then of course your glossary at the back but yeah so uh, and as always I like the little caption on the end of this one uh, treat the wilderness with respect carry in only what you are prepared to carry out leave only footprints and take only pictures <laughs> it's kind of a cool little saying at the end as a lot of us turn around and follow anyway when we're out in the bush but so that's kind of it guys this is book three um, like I say it's uh, a great book, great book for that person turning on and starting out. And uh, once again, I'll do the same thing. I'll turn around and put a description, um, or down on the bottom in the description, I'll turn around and put the uh, links online um, for the two different spots. As I say, I use uh, Chapters in Indigo here in Canada, as well as I'll turn around and uh, try to find it on Amazon and, and give a look to Amazon for anybody that may want to turn on and add it to their collection. But uh, once again, so like I say, as I said uh, yesterday, definitely anybody, if you've got any great books, um, love the comments that we're getting. And, uh, you know, if there's a book that you have or, or something, please feel free, share it with the rest of us, as, uh, you know, we can never have enough knowledge. Um, even those of us that are, are well experienced enough to, to go out in the bush and everything else, uh, we still don't know it all. And, uh, you know, we're constantly turned on and learning every day. So, once again, Peter from FS Bushcraft. Thanks again for watching, all the support, all the comments, guys. God bless.